Well, welcome everyone to this week's episode of Jim and Java. I'm Jim Dempsey, your host. Well, welcome back to another episode of Jim and Java. Here we are. We are progressing into the month of February. Uh, we're starting to begin to enter into the latter part of winter and spring will be upon us in uh, about five weeks or so. So I'm really excited about that prospect. Many of my events that I'm doing, a lot of our development efforts really kick off in the March, April, May timeframe. And uh, I don't know about you, but if you're doing a spring event, a dinner, a walkathon, a jogathon, a uh, particular uh, event activity, maybe, uh, I really hope that you're making great progress. If you are struggling with any issues, we've got a lot of videos. Chances are that uh, the that I've got a video out here that's going to be helpful for you. So just really look through the video library. Take advantage of the playlist. A lot of our list, our viewers take advantage of the playlist. If you're interested in major donor relations, we've got a playlist for that. If you're interested in events, I've got a playlist that I put together for that. And if you're interested in plan giving, I've put a playlist together for that. Just development philosophy, interest. If you're a beginner or you have some staff that are beginners, uh, I've got all those kinds of things out there for you. So hopefully uh, our video library will be very helpful for you. Well, let's dive right into our question of the week. Our question of the week is from Sheena in Longboat Key, Florida. And Sheena asks, do you have any ideas for quick money-making fundraisers that don't cost a lot of money to set up? Need 5000 by end of month for insurance. Well, Sheena, I can definitely relate to the need for money. Uh, I've worked with and helped a lot of nonprofit organizations over the years that are smaller and are barely getting by. And the fact that you have a $5,000 insurance uh, payment, I can definitely relate and understand to the importance of that. Sheena, I think it's really important to really understand the balance between fundraising and friend raising. Fundraising, of course, is getting money quickly. And it is it really is not discriminating about individual, their interests, their desires, where they're at in their level of understanding of your organization. And certainly it can be very, very tempting for us to focus in on fundraising, getting dollars in the door immediately, especially when you've got a great need like you do for insurance, or it, it could also be staffing salaries the next week. And so that can really, really dominate our planning and dominate what we're doing in, especially in our development efforts. But you really need to try and resist the temptation as much as possible to get caught up in that rat race of fundraising. And just because what it does is you constantly are challenging people. They're giving a gift. They, because there's no relationship, they won't, oftentimes get a, give a second or third gift, and then you need to start back from scratch and try and get some more gifts. Yes, there are countless organizations that work off of fundraising, selling candy door to door. Uh, one large um, organization sells cookies, which I think all of us know who that is. But I often say that I may buy uh, a box of Thin Mints one day, but if that organization sent me a fund appeal two days later, that would go right in the trash can because I've got no relationship built with the organization as a whole. And so, yes, that organization makes an amazing amount, astonishing uh, amount of money on cookie sales, but so many of those are just single 
purchases. And so what you want is you want to start building a long-term relationship with people. Now, I get it. That takes time if to shift from fundraising to friend raising. It does take time and it takes energy. And so you've got to move down that path. But typically what I look at doing is bridging that with other events that have fundraising components. A dinner, as an example, is a great way to get some immediate money. You still have friend raising components because you're connecting with people and they are hearing from someone live. But you can get that those immediate dollars that will help bridge the gap in between the time of the fundraising and friend raising by the time you get your friend raising component up. Nothing at all will override or be of greater value to you than a personal relationship with someone, a long time personal relationship. There's trust, it builds confidence, and people develop a partnership with you. And there's ownership in your organization. So it's really so important that you build those long-term friendships. And ultimately, that gets you a large gift. If given the opportunity for a gift of $500 today and $5,000 in six months from now, well, it's an easy choice. I'm going to take the $5,000 six months from now. Uh, but what that would require is that you invest time into that person. Find out what their areas of interest are, what motivates them, what encourages them. It's so important that you invest the time and energy into that relationship. And it's so important. So, yes, there are, Sheena, there's things that you could do quickly. Uh, as I said, you could do a small dinner party. You could go meet face to face with some people. Uh, you could, you know, just as I said, even a gathering in someone's home. Uh, I just did a video on doing a small dinner party successfully. Uh, and please go ahead and go out and watch that video. But uh, you've got to really be careful not to fall in the trap of just focusing in on fundraising because it brings in immediate dollars. But unfortunately, you get in a vicious cycle that you don't want to be in. So work on building those long-term relationships with people, and it's going to pay off for you. I have raised my own personal support for now over 38 years, and I would say that probably out of the 125 people that help us on a regular basis, I would say 85 to 90 percent of those people were with us from day one. And if you think about that, 38 years of individuals giving on a monthly basis, that is where real friendship and real consistency is built. So Sheena, I hope that helped answer your question. Uh, if you haven't been a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe and do so by uh, hitting the subscribe button, please click the bell. Uh, please comment out there. It helps us, helps me to know that you are out there, that you're interested, that you want to make a difference in our world. Please watch me on Instagram at Jim W. Dempsey, also on Twitter at Jim W. Dempsey, and use the hashtag Jim and Java if you've got questions. You can also send me questions on my email, jdempsey0813 at gmail.com. And please consider joining our Life Changers Facebook group. We're putting different kinds of information out there. I've got a Thursday uh, broadcast that I do with tips for the week. So I hope you enjoy that and are part of that. I hope the best for you as you strive to get fully funded. Thanks a lot. We'll see you in the next video.